Good day, this is Colby Vaughn from MMP Yacht Center. I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough of this 2008 Sea Ray 36 Sedan Bridge. The boat was bought brand new from us in 2008. It's been in our marina ever since. It's been serviced by our service techs from day one. And the owner has been pretty meticulous with all the service. He just basically cuts a check and we get it done. We take it over to the yard, we haul it out, we paint the bottom. We take care of everything for the owner. He's installed the hard windshield underneath the optional hard top. The boat has an open array radar, as well as the owner's added a satellite TV system. As you can see, it's white on white with a navy blue canvas package. The boat also has a dinghy with a 9.9 .9 Mercury outboard and a Seawise Davit system. This boat's been outfitted for fishing. It's got the extra fishing rod holders, downrigger mounts. It's even wired for an underwater camera if you like. It's got twin 30 amp shore power connections. And it's currently wired with a single with a Y adapter so you can run everything inside. Just maybe not all at the same time. Stepping into the back deck, you see on the port side is the wiring for the underwater camera and the downrigger mount. And on the starboard side is the mount for the second downrigger. The owner's also installed uh, cruise control so you can really adjust the speed down to one, one and a half knots with trolling valves on the engines and adjustable RPM switches up on the helm. In the aft cockpit area, there is a fold-out bench on the aft portion, carpet. The original canvas is still on this boat. There's a storage locker on the starboard side. And on the port side, there is an optional ice maker. Stepping inside the boat, there's a carpet runner to protect the carpet. Uh, dual settees and um, an, a movable dinette area. It's pretty unique. So the different couch configurations, they slide in and out. The center section slides out. The table can slide in as well. So it gives a myriad of options for entertaining. There's additional storage under the starboard side settee. It pulls out um, kind of like a sofa bed, but it's not a sofa bed. Um, I guess a kid could sleep on it, but it's really intended for storage. This boat has the high gloss cherry interior in it. Two stateroom layout. The galley down. Two burner electric cooktop. Microwave separate fridge and freezer which is nice so the freezer on the right hand side and the fridge on the left hand side single head with the ensuite door to the master stateroom you can see there as well as a day head door here vacuum head flush system moving forward into the master stateroom there is some storage underneath the bed here. Underneath there, there is a TV system, as well as an air conditioner reverse cycle heat unit up front here. So you have separate heating for the salon and for the main master bedroom. The shower is separate from the head, so you can be using the, the toilet and the shower. And then the second stateroom. Has two single berths that uh, there's a filler cushion that then fills the center section. So it turns into a queen size berth as well with a TV and a hanging locker for your guests and a nice little skylight for some natural light. Moving back through the galley towards the back of the boat, there's a TV entertainment system, DVD, CD player, stereo, 
And then with all 36 sedan bridges from 2008, we have the digital switching. So you're able to turn on and off the battery switches, stereo, freezer, fridges, AC systems is all just at a touch of a button. I'll turn off the air conditioning and the heat right now. And just like that, it's turned off. You can see on this boat right now, because it's winter time, voltage is a little low on the docks. How many amps we're drawing, the frequency. You can start your generator from here. And it shows your tankage. Lighting, you can have some presets. And you can turn off the lights by touch of a button here in the master control, as well as throughout the boat in these secondary switches. Walking upstairs, it's a port side stairway up to the flybridge. And as I mentioned, this boat has the hard top with a brow canvas package. Since it's original canvas, there's a couple zippers that do need to be fixed on this boat. But all, all in all, the canvas itself is in great condition. Maybe some zippers and a couple of Velcro patches and you'll be off to the races. In terms of electronics, dual E120 Raymarines, chart plotters integrated with the open array radar on top of the uh, hardtop. Cummins Vessel View, Autopilot, Raymarine Autopilot. Remote controls for the stereo. The digital switching, lights, anchor windlass, autopilot, thrusters, radar. The top right switches here. If you can make them out in the video, there's uh, on the far right is a double redundant ED, ECU, excuse me, system for the electronic shifters. Uh, RPM control, which will control it by 50, uh, five RPM at a time. Slow idle, and then cruise control. It's got bow and stern thrusters on this vessel, which is pretty unique, as well as the optional sea view windshield. Two forward-facing helm seats that swivel around with bolsters. And then a table that seats three. And when you flip around these other two, you can have five sitting at the table. Clarion speakers throughout. 240 hours overall on the boat. Um, gentleman had multiple boats. Set this one up as he lives in town part-time. Wanted to do some fishing. Never really used it as much as he was hoping. That concludes my walkthrough of the 2008 Sea Ray 36 Sedan Bridge, Carry M2. If you have any questions, please feel free to feel free to reach out. Colby Vaughn, MMP Yacht Center. You can reach me on my cell 236-888-5544. Thanks very much.